Um, you guys are now down to single digits in games remaining. Do you feel that this team has hit their strap? Do you think this is the best hot you guys have played all season? Uh, hopefully not. You know, we want to keep continuing to build and uh, um, become a better team uh, so that, you know, when playoffs come, you know, we're hitting the ground running. So, uh, obviously, still got to get there first and, you know, just focus on this game tonight and, um, you know, all that stuff. If you just, you know, focus on the task at hand, usually it kind of falls into place. So, um, you know, yeah, we've been playing pretty good hockey in, in March, but, you um, you know, there's still a lot to, to look forward to and hope to grow with. Do you feel that you guys are pretty battle tested? I mean, even the most recent example was Saturday. You're down 3 1 in the third period, rally one all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, how, how resilient is yeah. this? Yeah, it, it's, uh, uh, it's a testimony of the group and, you know, the way uh, we just try to stick with it and um, um, stay, stay pretty even and. Uh, um, don't let too much affect us. And, um, uh, try to you know pick each other up and and uh, um, stick together in those types of moments because if you, you know it can go the other way quick and uh, um, you know so you know it, that game was a pretty good uh, um, example of just battle tested and um, um, sticking with it. Uh, not the first time you guys have gone past regulation against Cleveland. There's been a lot of time hockey games between these two teams. What makes them so good? Obviously, they're a good team. They have a lot of skill, high hockey IQ. Uh, they can put the puck in the net. Um, you know, they've been shown to have a really good power play. Uh, you know, uh, well coached, and uh, you can just go down the list with them. And um, you know, it's been, you know, the main reason why they've been uh, at the top of the standings in our division all year. Uh, so on that perfect segue, like, what, what do you make of these standings? Because it felt like the longest time it was Cleveland, Syracuse, and the rest of the pack. And now you guys are very alive in that conversation. The regulation went tonight and tied with them for second place. Like, how do you break down these standards as, as they go across the season? Yeah, it, you know, it, it can, uh, it seems like teams just, you know, get on streaks in this, in this league. And uh, um, like you just said, and, uh, um, you try to play your best hockey at the end of the year and keep building. Um, never satisfy because once you do, you know it's can go can go south quick. So um, we, you know, just trying to keep our edge and, and, and build. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, back to your question though, like standings wise, not um, particularly worried about you know game nine right now or where we're going to be when that's said and done. Um, um, so we just focus on tonight and have a play a good game, you know, and, and hopefully and let the chips fall where they are because, uh, you know, we've been the fifth seed in this division and we've been the third seed. and You just got to make the playoffs and anything can happen. So uh, I recently asked you about playing your 600 professional game, but many years before that, you were a kid and games. the NHL. Yeah. Uh, do you have any memories from, from playing that tier two junior level? Uh, yeah, uh, kind of felt like I was out of place for the first couple games. It's uh, probably for the first half of the year, to be honest with you. It was uh, um, back then the league was a lot older, the NA was a lot older, and the USHL was uh, a little bit younger. Um, just junior level and in general was you know 20, 20. You find some twenty one year olds playing still, and, um, you know, pretty much guys out of high school. Were, playing juniors. Uh, now it's more, uh, you leave after your midget minor year in hockey, so when you're like 15 years old. So uh, that's changed. Hockey in general has just gotten younger. Um, but I was like a 15-year-old playing in the league at that time, so uh, playing against guys that were a lot older and a lot more mature than I was. Um, that's probably the biggest thing I, um, I remember out of the whole experience. Do you feel like playing in that league Helped you for success down the road? Yeah, it, it's obviously uh, hard to remember exactly because um, it was so long ago. But yeah, it was a great experience. Um, you know, you're playing at a level of competition that's higher than what you've been experiencing. So, uh, you know, I had to grow my game and, um, you know, put you kind of on a fast track development wise. Um, last thing I have for you, 
because so I there's going to be some Rochester Junior Game Rooks yeah. uh, that play on that NAHL team. There's mm -hmm. kids that are, whether it's trying to go pro or in NCAA commitments and scholarships. You know, what would you say to, to a younger version of yourself? What would you say to these kids that are trying to achieve these goals? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, uh, first of all, we, we met with them and we were able to skate on an outdoor rink with a bunch of their players. That was a really cool experience. Uh, Patriot set that up for us. So um, we were able to meet with them and um, get to know them a little bit, which was cool. And um, um, just everybody's track to wherever they want to get, whether it's, you know, the NA, make the NA, uh, USHL or college or play in the CHL or pro, whatever it is, um, everybody's path is different. And there's not one path that's, uh, that's right for everybody. So, um, you know, as a player, you just have to trust that, you know, if you put in the work and um, are smart about the work you're putting in, and trying to get better every year and every day, whatever it is, um, that things will work out in your favor. So, um, and then, you know, if you put in that type of work, you can hang your hat on it.